And speaking of adrenaline-filled action, we are ready to go. The adrenaline and the speed, and we are getting into a speedy class right now, the sport class. Sport 3A, last stop on the way to gold. That's right, Tommy. These are the fastest home-built aircraft in the world. They do fly our eight-mile course with the same as our Unlimiteds because they are almost as fast as our Unlimiteds. They, they'll come onto the course, come down the start chute, where they'll be released by the pace plane. Race control, sport gold pace, ready nine aircraft. Race control, sport gold pace, we are three minutes from release. Sport gold pace, race control, cleared onto the course. Cleared onto the course, sport gold pace. I got you, 3-9, I'm underneath. Control, sport gold, in shoot. A gorgeous day for racing. Gentlemen, you have a race, very nice. As they're released onto the course, they have to stay in their perspective lanes as our pace plane pulls up and lets them head for the guide pylon. They have to stay in their perspective lanes. They can accelerate ahead of the other airplane, but they cannot change lanes until they get to the guide pylon right about now, Tommy. Well, and that orange and white plane out front tells the story. So far in the preliminary rounds, it has been all Andrew Findlay and the Lancer Super Legacy one moment. Race number 30. And, of course, everyone else is looking for his rival, his chief rival in this category, and that is going to be Jeff Lavelle, who got a bad start. I don't know what that's attributed to, but, man, he is making his way through this field. He is mowing them down. Very uncharacteristic for uh, Jeff Lavelle to get a bad start, but look at him reeling in Andy F Andrew Findlay right now. These two airplanes are capable of over 400 miles an hour. They would be the second and third fastest unlimiteds if they were racing in that class right now. The difference is these aircraft are home built. Again, they, they have to be either a kit or amateur built aircraft. They're running less than 1,000 cubic inches. These guys are each running twin turbocharged Continental and twin turbocharged Lycoming aircraft engines, composite props, they're retractable landing gear, and both are made out of composite materials, making them extremely slick allowing them to go through this, the air at over 400 miles per hour. Well, these incredible pictures are pretty much telling the story of this race. So far, through the other preliminary rounds, Jeff Lavelle has not been that much of a factor, but you knew it would be a matter of time, just a matter of time, until he did something very different and put himself right in the thick of the action, and that is exactly what he has done right now. Hanging on the tail of Andrew Finlay, going to be looking for his opportunity to make a big move, a turning point in this race. Well, Andrew Finley and the entire steel team have been chipping away at this airplane for the last couple of years. They cleaned it up aerodynamically. They shortened the wing tips. They took the graphics off the top of the wings. Now they're lightening it up. They're trading steel bolt bolts for titanium bolts, literally ounces a piece at the cost of several thousand dollars worth of hardware. But it all adds up to a victory. Once again, Andrew Finley and One Moment, your defending champions from 2018. This team spent a good many years trying to run down Lavelle, Jeff Lavelle and company. But right now, well, our Reno Tahoe top gun is going to beat Andrew Finley. I think we were stalking Jeff last year. This year, they're looking for us. So uh, we beat him in two miles an hour in qualifying, but Jeff's got a lot more in the tank there. So uh, we'll see if he can turn it up. But yeah, everybody's gunning for us. Uh, there's a lot of speed mods that people are starting to realize we have on our airplane. And uh, today, it's going to be an awesome day. We're fighting for that pole position tomorrow. Uh, really want to make sure we keep our spot there. But uh, it's going to be some great racing. Look forward to it today. As Andrew Finley hits the bell lap for eight long miles short to us as spectators long to him and his crew in the cockpit for this is a chance where they can beat themselves don't cut a pylon don't go wide on the course and whatever you do don't scatter that continental twin turbocharged engine well all the preparation and this goes on all year long for this team they are obsessed with gaining a tenth of a mile an hour it seems uh, very very tedious but boy it is paying off especially these past two years with andrew finley in one moment they took a lot of little bites of the elephant and they all worked you know the faster you go the harder it is to go fast and they're finding the formula every little thing they do nothing's working against each other everything they do is propelling them forward even faster they're going to be the ones to beat tomorrow absolutely and even faster is the theme for these final three laps jeff lavelle had pulled it up pretty close after the first couple of laps but right now you see Andrew Findlay stretching it out as you say all he's got to do is run his race as he makes the final turns toward the home stretch here in Reno. Andrew Findlay and one moment Sport Heat 3A last stop to gold he is going to have the pole position.
Well, just like he has in all the previous heat races, this dominant performance that we've seen right here makes a great case. And yes, it gives him the steel power move.